This is a breakdown of the Oklahoma City Miami Game Five series. Um, wow. You know, before I get to my shout out of the night and all that, I um, I owe an apology to the Miami Heat. I uh, wow. I don't think I gave the Heat enough credit for what they had. Um, obviously, if, if you watched the start of these YouTube blog, web t web uh, YouTube casts, you know that I picked the Thunder um, as far as coaching, as far as players, bench wise, everything. The, the Thunder all the way, and I tried to push that I wasn't a homer in that, and I wasn't a homer in that. I feel, um, but you know, I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong, and that's one thing you're going to learn about this YouTube cast. And um, I was wrong. The uh, the Miami Heat were the better team for these four games, five games, I should say, um, with or without the refs. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to lay it out on there. You know, it is what it is. Miami just got the call. Oklahoma City didn't. Uh, the shout-out of the night is to a guy that um, is hopefully going to get where Clay Bennett is right now um, on the verge of a championship and then getting a championship, and that would be Dallas Maverick owner Mark Cuban. He is at M Cuban on Twitter, and he tweets, this was shortly after the uh, Derek Fisher foul on King James there in the third quarter. He said that was the worst flagrant foul in the history of flagrants. Mark, I couldn't agree with you more. That was not a hard foul. Um, that was kind of LeBron James kind of scooting his shoulder up into Derek Fisher. But, you know, the call didn't go that way. And you know what? Here's what, here's what the refs need to understand is you're talking to a seven-time champion. He's been there at least eight times that I know, nine times that I know of. They lost to Boston twice that I know of since he was in L.A. And now, of course, he's back with the Thunder. This guy knows what he's doing. He's not, he's not a bad player. And I really hope that he can just stick around and push the Thunder for one more year um, so that we can do that. But as far as this year goes... Final score of the final game for the Thunder, 104 to 122. Miami wins the series in South Beach. Leading scorers, Kevin Durant, once again showing up, 32 points for that man. And right behind him was Hustle Russell with 19 and tied. Finally, he decided to show up game five, game time, our big James, our game James, James Harden, the beard, as I call him. He also had 19. As far as the Heat, their James, King James, he had 26 points on the night. And their power forward center, Chris Bosh, had 24. The shot heard around the world was Royal Ivy's three-point shot at the towards the end of the fourth quarter to set the Thunder up at 102 points, which of course pushed them over the 100 mark since it was a three-point basket. Their course ended up scoring two points after that. Uh, gracious, gracious thoughts go out to the Heat. Um, they are a class organization in any way, shape, or form. Um, I'm very proud to say that the Miami Heat were very nice to the Thunder. They were very spacious to the Thunder. We didn't get any boos as Boston did, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the way that the Thunder played this series. They played tight. The referees weren't going to let them get away with a lot. And with them not getting away with a lot, the Thunder, this 20, 
this 18-point win was really the largest of all four games. Um, the rest of them, uh, they, there was this one that was a blowout, and then the, our game in Oklahoma City was an 11-point win. The rest of them were kind of nip and tuck, two three-point possession games, five, five points, three points, six points, eight points. That's saying a lot for a team that came really out of what everybody expected. Eric Spolstra did such a great job over the last two years. I can't tell you how much pressure is on an NBA coach in the first place. But now there is even more pressure on you. Because not only do you have the pressure of being the head coach, but now you're the head coach of the dream team in the NBA. Uh, LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade. Now, no, it's not, it is one, it is not two, it is not three, it is not four, it is not five, it is not six, it is not seven, it is not eight, it is not nine, it is not ten. It is one NBA championship. And I really think that it really speaks a lot to the fact that these two teams were the two teams left at the end. Miami, everybody knows that these guys are basically best friends, and that's why they came together. Bosch, Dwayne, and LeBron is who I'm talking about. Those three guys are like best friends. They're going to be on Team USA together here in a couple of months. Um, they are best friends. Uh, we all know that the same thing is true about the, 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 uh, the Thunder organization, Kevin, Russell, and James, and those guys. They are too. Now, I'm very proud of the way that the Thunder have fought this, not only the series, but the playoffs. Think about it this way, okay? You play probably one of, if not the best power forwards in the next 20 to 30 years. There will probably not be another Dirk Nowinski in a long time. And you took him to four games, and you swept him. Then you move on to Los Angeles, and probably one of the best two guards in the league a lot of people think that he could be the next, may I say, Michael Jordan. Um, Kobe, Shobi, whatever you call him, he's a good player. And you take that team to the brink, you win that series 4-2. to two. Then you really are down 0-2 to, to really, if, if you look at it on paper, they are a carbon copy of, of who you are and what you are, what you do, and how you do things. The right way, you play defense, you do get out there and score a lot, you've got the sixth man of the year in James Harden, and another sixth man of the former sixth man of the year in Mano Ginobili, you got a great looking power forward center guy in Tim Duncan, you got a great future in that in Serge Ibaka. Um, you have a great-looking point guard in that of Russell Westbrook, and you got a for sure at the end of the time Hall of Famer Tony Parker. It was the Thunder Spurs, like I said, carbon copies of each other. The games ended up going six games instead of seven games. The Thunder winning it um, in Oklahoma City. And then moving on to this game, um, it really went the way, I'm not going to say the way that I planned it to go. They won the game that I thought they would win, which was game one. Um, I just thought that, you know, game one would very much be probably the biggest game in Oklahoma history. And it was. And they, don't, and they won it. And they had to use that biggest game in Oklahoma history, city history again, use that enthusiasm, use that muscle, use that heart, use that passion, and they did, and um, it all came down to, of course, what we all know is 2.7 seconds, and Kevin Durant, and that uh, no call, call, no call, now if that call is made, or if Kevin Durant makes that shot, this thing comes back to Oklahoma City, and we probably win it, uh, even though that Miami's won three straight, I think that you would be able to hold serve in home court in that, 
you lost your last playoff game. And by the way, when you lost that last playoff game, that was your only playoff loss in Oklahoma City. And that's saying a lot for a team that, oh yeah, by the way, had their first had their first playoffs loss playoff loss in Oklahoma City oh so many years ago, three or four years ago, when they played Los Angeles. And that team learned from that. They learned from playing in the Western Conference two years, uh, uh, the, the next year. They learned from playing in the Western Conference Finals again this year. And the NBA Finals, and I'm pretty sure that that's going to keep on growing, which is bad news for the rest of the league. Because the Thunder could easily be back on this thing. Don't give up on these guys. They are a good team. They have players coming back. Uh, the bright side of things is Serge and James Harden don't have to leave yet. The Bearded Hawk will be back next year. So will Serge. They will then have to make a decision after next year. Hopefully, after next year's finals, and we'll get there. Uh, I love my YouTubers. I love my. I love my. I love the people that listen and watch my videos. Um, I'll have some OU football broadcasts for you coming up. Uh, I'll break down some Big 12 action. But as far as the NBA Finals are concerned, this is my last one. Um, and it comes to the hands of the Miami Heat. Final score, 104-22. to The Miami Heat win the NBA championships. <laughs>